Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rianne. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you my last empties for the year. This hopefully is not going to be as long as the rest of them, but I will link you to my previous two empties, I think, which weren't filmed all that long ago. Also, yes, I cut myself, I guess, a shag haircut. Um, if this year goes on much longer, it may end up being a mullet, to be honest, because it definitely released some feelings for me. I'm also feeling a bit weird because I slept for 12 hours last night. Um, so I think what I'm actually feeling is well rested, which is a strange feeling for me. I'm gonna stop babbling, roll the intro, and we will get into my empties from the last amount of time that I cannot recall. Today I'm trying out this new lip oil from Kosas. The packaging is very um, satisfying. Look at that weird lid. Mm. Anyway, I got this in Jellyfish and I don't know, it's kind of nice, just glossy, like barely any color to it. Feels quite nice. Yeah. And I'm drinking a fizzy liquid death. All right, let's pick at random. The first empty is one of my favorites. Uh, Maria Hunter candles are something I came across this year and I love her candles. They burn really nicely. They don't burn super quick. It gives off a lot of scent and um, she has a lot of different smells too. This one was Peony, which was kind of like sweet, um, sweet floral, not like musty floral. I don't know if that's helpful in any way, but they do also have smaller versions if you want to try out some small ones first. Vegan, cruelty-free, black-owned brand, and they are from, I always forget, is it Madison in Wisconsin? So they're Midwesty. if you want to support Midwest businesses. I've enjoyed all of the scents I've had from her, and she does have the um, notes of every candle uh, listed on her site too, so definitely we'll buy this again. Absolutely beautiful products. Mm. I'm pretty sure this one was from... A kinder beauty box, I think, um, and it's the Honeysuckle and Gardenia uh, Skin Polish from Beauty Kitchen, Heather Mariana. Anyway, um, I think the packaging could be improved on, just, I mean, it's just not my taste. I shouldn't say it's bad, it's just not my taste. However, I'm very glad that I decided not to judge a scrub by its cover because it was absolutely delicious. It smells so good um i think it's mostly gardenia that i can smell still smells so incredible and it was just a really nice um body scrub i really enjoyed it i used it um before i got in the bath and uh, it had sugar rice bran oil and then fragrance so super simple and it was actually very enjoyable so i think if the packaging was maybe modernized a touch that it would probably be a little bit more um appealing to more people but it was a really nice product so I would totally be open to using this again. Mm. This is one I just tried out the other day. I'm gonna link you to the list I used to figure out which of the products were vegan. Um, anyway this is a plump peptides, collagen and omega oils volumizing infusion sheet mask from Pixie. So it's just a normal like tissuey sheet mask that you would expect and it was beautiful. I also got some uh, under eye masks in the same range, I think, and they just really made my skin feel very nice and plump and juicy. So if like hydration and plumping is something that you usually go for, um, I would really recommend trying this one out. I found it worked really nicely with all of my other products as well. So I would definitely buy this again. I think the box I got had three in maybe, three or five. Um, so I will be using again, buying again. It was delicious. I love a sheet mask. I really do. And I like to roll over it with a cool uh, roller of some kind, sometimes quite aggressively on my jaw because COVID clenching, you know? Um, anyway, lovely product. Like I said, picking at random. Uh, this is an electrolyte drink. Um, I've talked about it a bit before. They did send me these and everything else will be noted in the description if it was received or whatever, there'll be links too. I do have an affiliate discount code for this, which I think is Rianne HY, and I think it gets you 15% off. 
um, but this was the passion fruit flavor of liquid IV and this is something that they had asked to send me and I was open to it and I think I had unboxed it maybe on Instagram and a bunch of you were like oh my gosh love that stuff you're gonna love it um, and that it was like the best electrolyte drink that you'd used um, and I do already like to have this kind of thing around the house too because it's just helpful in so many ways whether maybe you've eaten super salty food one night and in the morning you're feeling really dehydrated if you've been drinking alcohol um, maybe working out really hard I don't have that problem personally um, or you know if you've been crying a lot dehydrates you back to the point uh, this has got rid of my headaches a couple times now very quickly so I obviously like I've said before I can't say what this is doing like on a scientific level but it does help get rid of my headaches and it makes me feel like I'm able to get hydrated easier um, I do think it has some special get you hydrated faster thing cellular transport technology I don't know what that is but it's sodium potassium glucose and water which is meant to put you in the express lane to hydration my friends absolutely great tons of you guys said that you love it too and buy it all the time um, and it is non-gmo vegan gluten-free dairy-free soy free and made in the USA no preservatives artificial flavors or colors and no artificial sweetener so it does have sugar in um, I'm not sure how that would affect some of you guys maybe like health concerns but obviously you'll know what to do there um, but I did just want to mention that it does have sugar and is dextrose a type of sugar couldn't tell you anyway love it would definitely um, purchase these as well I like I said I do kind of like work with them I'm part of their affiliate program but um, super impressed with these and I do think you can get them at like Target maybe too so you should be able to get them in store if you prefer to do that um, and they also have lemon and lime which is very nice as well but I just liked passion fruit because it was something different uh, I feel like everything is usually like citrusy when it comes to electrolyte stuff so yeah very random assortment of things um, handy gloves which I think maybe now are called eco gloves I think that they had sent me this one it was like still there like not prototype but do you know what I mean I think they've like changed it since then um, these were anti-germ gloves 100% compostable and biodegradable latex and powder free um, and individually wrapped so obviously there is some waste with these but for something that's like a sanitary thing there often is these have been very helpful for me during uh, COVID times I keep uh, some of the packets in my wallet. I have a bunch by the front door. There's some like in the medicine box as well um, And I have been grabbing for these quite frequently when there's anything gross or maybe remotely Germy that I need to deal with so if that's something that you are looking into um, you can get uh, biodegradable plastic gloves to protect you as well. So another home smell uh, Juniper Ridge incense I think I found them on package free shop um, because it's just like very simple cardboard packaging no extra plastic or any of that nonsense 10% of profits are donated to protecting the wilderness from this brand they do have some other stuff I don't know a ton about them but this incense was amazing it's the uh, Christmas fur one nice kind of smoky tree woodsy smell um, and yeah fan this uh, is a weird discolored one. I think that this was maybe from a Petit Vore box and it's the Levido, Lavido, um, Thera Intensive Foot Cream. It has tea tree in. It does smell very tea tree-ish and it is very thick. This is something I would put on my feet and then put socks on. It does smell very tea tree-ish but I do think it was a nice one. But personally I prefer the uh, Derma E Vitamin E Lotion for my feet. I swear it can transform my cavewoman feet into more regular, current, up-to-date human feet. So, yeah. I was so sad when this one ran out, but I have already ordered some more by Agave Plus stuff. I can't remember if this one was sent to me. I think it may have been. It's the Agave Plus Intensive Lip Mask. They also have like a daytime lip balm and they have a nighttime lip treatment too. If you are someone that struggles with really dry lips and having to like reapply constantly, go for the nighttime one. I use that in the daytime too. And it is just the thickest, most nourishing lip product that I've ever found. Yeah. So this is also very good, but that nighttime one, I don't think you can beat it. But they do have these in like different colors too. This was just like the regular clear one, but they have like a pinkyish one I think too. And it's still a beautiful product. I would be open to using it, but 
the nighttime one, man. It's supreme. Okay, here's another lip product, which is the e.l.f. Uh, CBD Lip Oil. They have sent me this and I've also bought some now. The last time I checked on Ulta, they had these for buy one, get one 50% off. So I do recommend checking there. Um, and this is very much a lip oil. I love the applicator. It smells almost like a little bit like vanilla and minty or like mint chop chippy. It's beautiful. Anyway, I love to put this on at night before I go to bed. It makes your lips super glossy and it's also really nourishing. I also love to apply it um, during the day. That's how I managed to use this one up so fast is that I was just thoroughly enjoying it. You don't need to reapply it too often, but I just found myself doing it because I love the smell so much. Pretty much everything in this newer CBD line, which is in the fully white and black packaging, uh, I have really enjoyed so far. Highly recommend picking these up if you're someone that likes to have a very glossy looking lip treatment. This one is a permanent favorite with me. It's the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant, which is salicylic acid. This is great for breakouts, blocked pores, um, and it is an exfoliating acid that can uh, get like within the pore to exfoliate the crap out. Do you know what I mean? Because I think it's oil soluble, so it can do that. Um, other AHAs are more like surface um, because I think they're water soluble. Anyway, this one is incredible. I have tried other BHA products just to like test them out. Uh, I know some of you guys ask for like different things that you might be able to get near you or maybe you don't want this one for some reason and I just haven't been impressed. For me and my skin, it's so used to this and it's so effective for me that I have a hard time using anything else. I did try I think the pharmacy one. I did like a little Instagram battle with them and that one just kind of did nothing for my face. Uh, this stuff is amazing and if I ever stop using it or try something else and then I go back to this, within just like a week or so I notice that there's a difference. Um, I have less like little red bumps, I have uh, less blocked pores, less breakouts. I find that it kind of keeps breakouts at bay even. I rarely get them when I use this consistently. Um, blackheads and stuff like that and just even when I would feel that skin the texture is so much smoother when I use this um, no like little bumps or even like dry patches or it's just it's incredible I'm currently trying one from I think it's from Bliss haven't been blown away yet probably gonna end up getting this again um, because it is just a favorite works so well for me I don't really know why I keep trying different ones I think it's because I like to give you guys options for maybe things that are a bit more gentle or a little bit more intense like that. Um, but yeah, I don't mean intense necessarily in a bad way. Highly effective, I guess is actually what I mean. This was a hairspray from Josh Rosebrook. It is a uh, pump bottle, it's not an aerosol. And it's very good. Uh, it does smell a bit herbal, perhaps. It's not gonna smell like uh, like a regular hairspray would smell. It does smell a little botanical, but I did find it was really nice. Kind of helped keep a good hold on my hair. The spray gave a nice kind of fine mist, so I didn't really miss having uh, an aerosol necessarily. And it did give like a little bit of, kind of made my hair feel slightly thicker uh, and give me a little bit of play to it. So I would recommend trying this out if you want to try a hairspray in a pump bottle instead of an aerosol one. He does skincare as well, and I love the facial mist. And also the there's a volumizing spray as well, which I did use today to kind of like keep a little bit more zhuzh and movement up and around here. So yeah. Speaking of aerosol hairspray, this one is very good. Um, it's from IGK and it's the 1800 Hold Me No Crunch Flexible Hold Hairspray. Uh, 450 degree heat protection high shine micro light reflectors. I don't know if I necessarily notice the light reflecting thing. If you do want that, they have a different product, which is like a hair and body oil spray, I think. But this one is still a really nice hairspray. Not crunchy, but it does give good hold and I would happily use either of those hairsprays again. This one uh, is from Bybee. It's the Mega Mist Facial Mist Hyaluronic Acid Facial Spray. I loved it, but I found I used it so quickly. Uh, I do find their uh, products I do use up quite fast, I think because the, they are quite small bottles, but it was really nice. I just don't think I would continue to buy this because of how many I would have to buy. It is glass, um, but I just think I would get through so much packaging doing it this way. I am currently using the is it Heritage Store, like the Rose Toner. 
specifically the toner, not just the rose water spray, um, because the toner has other good stuff in it. I don't think you'd be disappointed if you tried this. I think it would be like a nice gift or a nice treat product, but for me, I use so much facial mist in my uh, skincare routine that it's just not really worth it to buy such a small one. So it was beautiful, but not, um, I don't know, just not the best for me. I have two soul body products here. One is the sugar body polish. It is beautiful. Their products smell delicious. They're a little bit less expensive because they are a ColourPop brand. Uh, the packaging is cute, but like it does rub off a little the more you use it. Like I think if you get oily hands or whatever, it will come off. So I mean, the packaging isn't the best, but they are really nice products. The sugar body polish, I would be open to using again, but I also don't think it was like mind blowing necessarily. It just smelled good and it felt good on my skin. And then this one is the gradual sunless tanning lotion. Um, this one is in medium to deep. I, because I didn't want it to be super dark, um, I would use this just less often, but ideally the they do have a light medium one, which is perfect for me. Um, and they are really beautiful gradual tanning products. So probably after about two to three days, you'll start to notice it. Your skin tone will just look a little bit more golden. And then obviously with prolonged use, um, it will get darker. But I actually prefer to use these in conjunction with this other empty which is a Loving Tan Medium 2 Hour Bronzing Mousse. So I will use this to kind of get a nice base color. I only ever try and go the color that I would naturally go if I was out in the sun and I didn't wear SPF. And then I kind of upkeep it with this. So maybe use that and then two days later I'll start using this just to kind of top it up and keep my skin really uh, soft and moisturized. This is a beautiful lotion in itself too. Um, and I was really happy to see they've now brought out just lotion version no tanning stuff in it because the lotion in itself smells really good and is really beautiful and softens the skin nicely so this one is gonna smell like tan this one isn't so if that's helpful at all but I actually like to use them uh, together and then the last product another favorite that's in every empties video is the Crave Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser um, this stuff is incredible. This is probably the brand that I'm most excited about skincare wise. I use everything in their line almost every day. So it's just been super great for my skin. I think it's really gentle um, and not necessarily targeted towards any one skin type, but more so just generally trying to improve the health of skin. So I do think these are probably products that most anyone could try and get use out of. And what I like to do is use more so products like this for the basics and then maybe add in like a nice toner or a serum kind of treatment and go that way. So keeping it really nice and nourishing and simple most of the way through and then adding in a couple more active things. Um, but this is, is just so good. And I do use the um, 60 second rule from Nye uh, from the Golden RX and I think that cleansing for a little bit longer when you use a nice gentle cleanser is the way to go so yeah okay guys so that was my final empties of the year thank whoever that this year is almost over it just wow you know it does mean now is the time for me to start filming my um end of your favorites which i'm very excited about where we get to spend five days together five you're gonna be sick of me after that um and then we'll go back to like normal in theory, normal content um, in January. I will see you guys again on most likely Christmas Eve. That's the plan so far. I will keep you updated elsewhere if that changes. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Any of the further questions, leave them in the comments. I will meet you down there. And I will see you in five days of faves. Love you. Bye.